idea behind using a toll road is supposed to be easy. You buy a toll tag or pay by mail. But an Austin woman said when she got someone else's bill, easy became frustrating. She reached out to the KVU Defenders for help. An investigative reporter, Erica Proffer, tells us why we all might want to look twice at our toll bills before paying. Yeah, we're live out here on US Highway 290 and this is just up from 183 in Northeast Austin. And this is where the Central Texas Regional Mobility Authority operates a stretch of the toll road here and they operate like many other Texas toll roads. They snap a photo of your license and they'll send you a bill in the mail. But sometimes things go wrong. Wow, just looking at the picture is frustrating. You would probably have to have some special device to decipher what's in this picture. This black blob is supposed to be Yuriana Carbajal's SUV. This is a toll bill I received, and those are the pictures. We see them. Of my vehicle. Barely. From the little Look you can see. Look closely. I guess the grill goes up and down. In one, you can barely see the grill but not the license plate. I was like, yeah, there's no way that's my truck. It was the first clue for Carbajal that something's not right. Set up, this is crazy. The lights? Carbajal has running lights at the bottom of her SUV, not pictured here. I'm not paying for who knows who's toll bill. <laughs> so she called Central Texas Regional Mobility Authority after she received these notices. They're both past due accounts. Carbajal said there must be a mistake. Yeah, that's she received true. two bills she says aren't hers. CTRMA told her there was another outstanding uh -huh. bill. The There's a third one on there too for 63 and 88 cents. And she said no that that is definitely your vehicle. Carbajal says she never got a bill and wanted proof, but since the car is in her husband's name, my husband had to call and get the picture from them. So we asked about the charges. CTRMA agreed the two bills sent to Carbajal were sent by a mistake and waived those fees, but would not provide the pictures for that third bill, citing privacy. The only big line you'll see, it's this right here. Carbajal received an email from CTRMA saying the third bill was determined to be valid, mailed on April 30th, 2015. Administrative fees were assessed when the bill was not resolved. As a courtesy, we waived the violation fees and adjusted the balance to the original billed amount of $3.88. And I want others to, if they, to check their bill. Carbajal says she'll pay the bill but avoid all toll roads from now on. For the KVU Defenders, Erica Proffer, KVU News. And this stretch of toll road isn't the only toll road that CTRMA operates. They also uh, operate Highway 183A. They operate some of the, the new express lane on Mopac and a small stretch, a four mile stretch around the airport on Highway 71. So if you get a photo much like Harbaugh Hall is, you can email them or call them and ask for an emailed copy with a higher resolution photo. But we must warn you, you must be the account holder. We're live in Northeast Austin. Erica Proffer, KB News. Thank you, Erica. And if you have a story for our Defender team to investigate, you can contact them by sending an email to defenders at kvu.com or give them a call at 512-533-2231.